Hi guys, this is Virendra from iDeserve. Today I'm going to talk about a data structure which has operations like insert, delete, search and randomize in constant time. So we need to design a data structure which can implement operations like insert, delete, search and get random in constant time. So the first operation is inserting a non-duplicate element. Second is uh, deleting an element from the set if it already exists in the data structure. Third is searching that element in the data structure. Fourth is to get a random element from the data structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two data structures, hash table and dynamic arrays to implement this particular kind of a data structure. To discuss why I'm doing this, let's go further and discuss the complexities of these two particular data structures and why they are special. Here I'm going to discuss only the insertion complex complexity of these two data structures. So sizes of these two data structures grow as more elements are added. So for example, if we consider a dy consider dynamic arrays, if the array size is 1 and if I insert uh, 1 into it, it requires constant time, right? What if I want to insert 2? So to do that, we have to expand this array. We double the size of the array and reinsert 1 that was there in the older array and then insert 2 okay suppose now now i want to insert 3 again i double the size of the array insert the previous elements from the older array 1 2 and then insert 3 okay well, what if i want to insert 4 what happens i can insert 4 in constant time so only when we max out the insertions we double the size of the array okay that's when we hit the worst case for insertions but it is very rare and on an average, we require constant time for all the insertions for these two data structures. Now let's see if we want to insert 5. What happens is we have to double the size of the array. We insert all the previous elements 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then we insert 5. So to insert 5, we require 5 operations. Right? But to insert till 4, if the size of the array was 4, we would have required constant time. Since we wanted to insert one more element, we had to double the size of the array. Okay, so take a note of that. And what if we want to insert 6, 7, 8? All the insertions for them are constant time. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to understand this further. Uh, if the array is of size n, we would require constant time pushes till the size n. But if we want to insert n plus 1 element will have to double the size of the array and then copy all the n plus 1 elements into the new array, right? So all the insert operations take constant time except the last operation which takes order of n time. So in all two n operations are required for n plus 1 elements. So on an average we would require constant time for all the insertions, right? We calculated amortized cost. Amortized cost is nothing but average time required for insertion of all the elements. Okay. So how many elements we inserted? N plus 1. And how many operations we did? 2n. So it's so 2n by n plus 1 is order of 1. Right. For deletion, also you can calculate the complexity similarly. Let's go ahead and have a look at the code and see how the data structures, data structure that we are trying to design works. Okay. So to design the data constant time data structure, what we are going to use is we are going to use two uh, basic data structures which is hash map and array list. This is the constructor which uh, initializes both of them. Okay, let's see how the insert operation works. When the data comes in, what we do is we, if the da data doesn't uh, exist in the hash table, what we do is we add it into the array as well as the hash table. Okay, in the note, take a note that we are inserting the data and corresponding index in the array into the hash table because when we are searching. We actually want to search into the array. So we, if we don't want to do a linear search, what we are trying to do is trying to get, uh, we are going to get directly index when we look into the hash table. Okay. So if I am trying to search the data into the hash table, it will return me the index of that data in this array. Okay. Let's go to remove operation. So in the remove operation, if we want to remove integer data, if you want to remove data, what we do is we first check if it does not exist in the hash table. If it does not exist in the hash table, it doesn't exist in the array. So we return from that procedure. If it exists in the hash table, what we do is we find out the index index from the hash table. That index is the index in the array for that particular data. What we do is we swap 
the data on that index to the last element last index in the array and we remove the last element from the array okay and again we remove and then we remove it from the hash table since the data at the intended index of the array is updated we update the hash table as well so to search the data we just look into the hash table and return the index in the array and to get the random element from the array what we do is we get a random index and then we return the data at that index that's all thank you for watching the video i'm going to write down a thorough article on this particular question so that it will be easy for you to go go through it that article will be uploaded at www.ideserve.co.in please go check it out there are many other questions that we are uh, writing out and there are many other existing questions out there on ideserve portal please go uh, have a look at them and leave your comments and leave your feedback thank you so much